please listen carefully. So, I'm a big word nerd, a vocabulary geek. I love languages, and even though I am sadly only monolingual, uh, I appreciate very much the different perspectives and thoughts that uh, different languages can get across. And while English is a very apt language at describing lots of varied things and concepts, it can be a bit cumbersome at times, and, and sometimes we don't have one single word to get across uh, a certain idea. Or sometimes a foreign word is just so much better than our English word. For instance, my wife and I have a greyhound, uh, and do you know what the German word for greyhound is? It's Windhund. Windhund. Literally, wind dog. As in, they run like the wind. I will take Windhund for Greyhound any day. So here's a few words from other languages that say something that English doesn't have a direct translation for, but probably should because these are just so damn useful. First one is German, Backpfeifengesicht. Literally means a face badly in need of a fist. Someone who just deserves to be punched. I can think of so many times where that word would come in so handy. Backpfeifengesicht. The next word is Filipino, giggle, to the urge to pinch or squeeze something that is unbearably cute. Eagle. The, the word is just adorable. I love it when words sound like their meaning. Uh, something about that is just awesome. Giggle. The next one is Russian. I'm probably going to butcher this pronunciation because my Russian is very bad. Pochemuchka. Uh, Pochemuchka. Uh, it's a person who asks a lot of questions. This one's Italian, sprezzatura, sprezzatura. It's uh, the appearance of nonchalance, or the effort made to disguise the fact that you're making an effort. Do that all the time. I, you know, lean up against a wall trying to look nonchalant, but I'm actually expending a lot of energy to appear that way. More Russian. Uh, this one is just awesome. I do this all the time. Sturmofschina. Sturmofschina. It's the practice, it sounded Italian there, but it's, it's Russian. The practice of working frantically just before a deadline, uh, having not done anything for the last month. This one may be my favorite, uh, it comes from German. It's Verschlimmbesserung. And it means to try to improve something, but actually make things worse. I take it back, this one might actually be my favorite, it also comes from German. Evolutions bremse. It literally means that you're putting a brake on evolution, i.e. talking about someone who is not making any kind of uh, contribution to the gene pool in any meaningful or beneficial way. Got another one from German, Kummerspeck. Excess weight gained from emotional overeating. Literally means grief bacon. I, yeah, goes without uh, any explanation there. Just a great word. We should really have it in English. And then finally, an excellent word from Scottish. We should definitely start using this in English right now. Tartle. Tartle. It's the act of hesitating while introducing someone because you've forgotten their name. Perfect word. It even sounds like it. You're hesitating. Tartle. That is it for me. Uh, expect another language-themed uh, vlog from me on Thursday. Corey, I will hear from you tomorrow, and I will be back on Thursday.